Well, good morning. Welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton here on a Tuesday morning, isn't it? Got to stop and think. Each day goes by so swiftly. But anyway, we're here to share just a few minutes with you. And I'd like to say that I appreciate people who have recognized the blessing of God upon their life. And they give God the glory and the credit for the blessing that they have enjoyed. I believe that uh, God does cause some to prosper and God causes others to, uh, you know, be in a position where they can be a, a greater blessing. I certainly don't begrudge people wealth and riches if God has blessed them with such. I know that it's between them and God what they do with their wealth and their, their uh, material blessings, but uh, I was thinking of, uh, in particular of a time that I I was blessed because of somebody that was blessed of God. Well, I was the administrator and principal of Circle Christian Academy there in Colorado Springs for nine years in conjunction with pastoring the church there on Circle Drive. We had a Christian day school, one of the finest little Christian day schools. I mean, we were limited in our enrollment because of space, but we had as high as 35 kids in our Christian day school. And... Uh, it was a wonderful ministry, a lot of headache, a lot of burdens, a lot of sweat, and uh, yet I enjoyed the administration of a Christian day school and the blessing and the rewards that it brought. But each Friday, though, we promised the kids who had excelled that week a field trip. Now, in Colorado Springs, it's not too hard to find a place to take kids on a field trip. Before that, I had a Christian school in Lowry City, Missouri, a little village of about 700 people and not really real close to anything. So sometimes we were hard pressed to find a, a place that we could go on a field trip, but not so in Colorado Springs. If we did nothing but go up into the canyon and let the kids play in the little mountain brook and have a picnic lunch, well, that was a grand old time. But there's a place called Cripple Creek, Colorado. I know a lot of you have been to Cripple Creek and they had a, a, a gold mine there that had been commercialized and for a fee they would take you down into the depths of the earth and give you a little tour of the gold mine. I thought that'd be a good educational trip for our children. So we loaded up the old white school bus and took off uh, up to Cripple Creek. I love driving up through the mountains there. And we arrived in Cripple Creek and the kids were so excited about the field trip and I should have done a little home, homework before I promised them that, that, that we would do this because when I went to buy the tickets, I was amazed at how expensive it was going to be to take those kids down into the belly of the earth. Well, I just told the guys, well, I'm sorry we didn't come prepared with that much money. Uh, we'll have to come back another day when we're better prepared. And I really dreaded going back and telling the kids that uh, the field trip that day was going to be a dud. But there was a gentleman standing there. Across the way was a big old Class A motor home with his toad behind it. And uh, for those of you that don't know, the toad's a little car that you tow behind the motor home to get around in after you park the motor home. But I'd noticed this fine big motor home sitting there. And there's this gentleman. He wasn't an old man, but... He saw what was going on, and so I turned to walk away. He said, I'll buy the tickets for those kids. And I said, oh, sir, I wouldn't expect you to do that. And his testimony was like this. Well, you know, the Lord has just blessed me so much. He's given me so much, and I just want to do that for these school kids. And he then went on to say how he appreciated my ministry of Christian education and how it would delight him to buy the tickets for our children to go down and visit the gold mine. So I thanked him and gave him a God bless you, and our kids had a great field trip that day. And I went away mindful that God blesses people often so they can bless others. I don't think God's pleased when he blesses a person that is selfish and stingy, but when he uses the blessing that God has given him to bless others, I think that's the way it ought to work. I thank God for that gentleman that day to save the trip for Circle Christian Academy students and the principal. Well, let's ask God to go with us today. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for those that you have blessed in a financial way that in return reach out to bless others. We have been blessed so often, Lord, by those whom you have blessed. So now we ask that you will help us, Lord, to take whatever we may have. We may not be able to bless someone in a big way, but may we be able to bless someone according to our ability and our resources. Lord, bless us throughout this day of life, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for being with us. We'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.